Hello, students. Good evening. Good evening. How are you? Fine, fine. Thank you. And you? I am doing great. Very happy to start again with another group, another um, another opportunity to teach uh, new students more things about English. So I am very happy today to have the chance to start another experience with a new group of students. Awesome. And you? What can you tell me? Uh, well, uh, some uh, some a little time. Uh, I have uh, uh, come from work. Uh, the traffic is very hard. I imagine. And so, I think I am ready to start. Oh, that's very good. Well, hello, Ana Yancy. Hello, Ismael. Hello, Marlon. Hello, Catherine. What can you tell me about your class today? Hello, Ana Yancy. Hello, Ismael. Tell me a little bit about you. Hello, I'm sorry. Uh, this is Ismael. I'm having some issues here. I have a power outage, so I am on my phone and it's raining a lot. Uh, yeah. I don't know if you can hear me. I can hear you very well. I was just reading your message uh, before starting the class and I said like, oh my God, uh, he's having difficulties. But it's cool, yes. that, it's cool that you connected on your phone and so you can listen to the class and interact and, and anything that it's needed. We can listen to you very well, okay? Thank okay, you. Perfect. Thank you for being here. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Ana Jansi, what can you tell me about you? The microphone, honey. Good evening. Thank you, teacher. Okay, hello, Ana Yancy. What can you tell us about you? How are you? How was your day? I am a young tired. Oh, you're tired, I imagine. <laughs> it has been a very long day. It has, been a, it has been a long day. Okay, perfect. Let me see. Blanca Molina, what can you tell us about you? Good evening, everyone. My name is Blanca Molina. I like, uh, tell me Blanky, please. <laughs> Blanky or Blanquita. Okay. okay. And for me, it's very stressing Monday. Oh, I imagine. And Finally, finally, the finish. <laughs> okay, finally, it's over, right? It's over. Yes, and you are finally, free. it's over. And you're free to study. That's very yes. nice. Very good. Thank you, Blanca, for sharing. Hello, Katherine Melgar. What can you tell us about you? Hi, good, good evening. Uh, let's see. How was how was your day? Yeah, yeah, don't worry, don't worry. Let me see. I am going to ask Rosa Maria. How are you? Hi, good evening. Um I'm fine. Okay, that's fantastic. Mr. Aldo Melara, how are you? Mr. Aldo, hello. I'm fine, thank you. Okay, fantastic. Well, welcome to Intermediate 2. I know that you have been studying for quite a time, right? How long have you been studying English? For me, it's the second model with the English Corporativo. Hey, that's fantastic. Yes. And Ajansi, how long have you been studying English? Uh, segundo? The second module. 
second, second. Okay, very good. Let me see. And the rest? Mr. Miguel Lara, hello. How long have you been studying English? Hello. Repeat, please. How long have you been studying English? Um, the, at the beginning with the uh, English Corporate. So this is your, like your 10th module. Yes. Okay, fantastic. That's very good. That's very good. Sorry, teacher. And your yes. name? Ah, I was about to give you that. Oh, well, I sent you a message in WhatsApp. I was the one who sent you the message. My name is Natalie de Flores. You can call me uh, Miss Natty or Natalie or Teacher Natty, right? Whatever way you want, it's okay. Uh, I am a uh, licenciada in idioma inglés. I have been a teacher for 18 years now, uh, quite a time. <laughs> so I have a little bit of experience on this field and I am very happy to have the opportunity to teach this group, right? For me, every single group, it's a new opportunity to learn because you learn many new things with the new students. So I am going to be in charge of these 16 days that we are going to be together. It sounds very long, but you will see that from one moment to another, we're going to say, well, today's the, first, the last class, and thank you for everything and blah, blah, blah. You are going to see that really the time flies when you have fun. And I hope to do my best and um, serve you in the best way possible. So I am going to be here uh, at your service in anything you need. If you have difficulties in the platform, if you have a question about the class, if you have a question about English, if you have a question about a homework or something, just send me a message and I am going to be pendant of answering you right away, okay? So for me, it's a great pleasure to be here and to be your teacher, right? So um, now that you know me, we're going to go over what, uh, brought us today here together. I don't have to give you that much information about how to use the platform because I know that you know how to do it. Yes or no? Hello, this is Ismail again. Uh, in my case, no. <laughs> this, is, <laughs> this is the first time that I am studying with you and with English Corporativo. Okay, so, so that's very good that you tell me because I can explain a little bit about the platform. Well, that's very yeah. nice. Yes, uh, uh -huh. my question was, when I was trying to get a module online and I was searching, but I found many different modules, so and I, I, I didn't know Okay. because they had a different dates. Okay, that's very good. That's a very good question. So when you enter to the platform, right? When you enter to the platform with your email and the password that you have, you are going to enter here and maybe in this screen that I am, can you see my screen by the way? Yes? Yes, okay. yes I can. You enter here, right? And you saw many different curses and you say like, oh my goodness, which one is my curse? And you didn't know. So when this happens, you can go here where your name is and you click on your name. When you click on your name, you are going to display only the courses that you are enrolled at, okay? So in this case, I am enrolling in Inglés Intermedio Molo 2, and I am going to click there. So once you click there, you are going to find the different sections. And you have five sections in total. We are going to be together for four weeks. But by the end of the fourth week, all these sections have to be done, right? All these sections should be done with a, all the exercises and the um, exams and all the things that you have there. So when you enter to section one here, you are going to display all the different things that you have to do on that section. Each section has around 10 or 11 exercises. 
here you have one that is the description and then you have one that it's like an exercise, right? All of them have a video that it's um, explaining everything that you need to do. And each video has a different exercise that you have to complete, okay? These exercises are not evaluated as itself on the exams, but they are important for you to practice, okay? So you can go, you have to go in order, right? Exercise one, the lesson, the exercise, the lesson, the exercise, and you are going to find a little quiz, right? These are the quizzes that you have to be completing during the different days for you to have the opportunity to have an 80% of development at the end of the module. That's the least that you can get, but I would like you to get 100%, right? Yo no quiero que se caigan en 80, para mí todos se van a ir de aquí con 100%. That's my idea. And what you need to do is to work on the different exercises. The exercises are not that difficult, but you need to pay attention in class. And also you can advance by yourself. You can advance on the exercises. And if you have any question, you can bring the question to the class and we can solve it together. Okay, or if not, you can send the question to the WhatsApp group and we can solve it there. So exactly as what we can do here in class, we can do it in the WhatsApp group and we can recap in the class for us to uh, clear for, uh, for us to clarify the question for the group. Okay, so we can learn together. As you can see here, you have another exercise, another explanation, exercise explanation evaluation right and that's it you have the last explanation and the last evaluation for the uh, the section then you go where it says next and you are going to have section number two how many sections do you have in each module uh, i think you said 10 or 11 no, those are the exercises. How many sections do you have? Um, uh, I, I, I forgot it. Uh -huh. <laughs> Let me see my master in English Corporativo. What is it? Miguel Lara, how many sections do you have in each module? Five. Five, right? Uh -huh. You have five sections. The sections have around 10 or 11 exercises. Right, so that's the difference. How are you okay. going to work this? In week number one, you can advance section one and two. Week number two, sections three and four. Week number three, section number five. And week number four, everything is going to be completed, okay? That's the idea that you can follow. I am going to send you a little calendar that you can follow for you to advance in the platform. If you want to do everything tomorrow and you finish tomorrow, that will be amazing. But little by little, right? Little by little, I need you to complete everything that you have here in the platform. Do you have any extra question about how to use the platform? Uh, no, no more questions. Thank you. Okay, so um, after section three, you are going to find the midterm evaluations. What are those? As when you are at the university, you have the exam in the periodo, right? Here, we have them after section number three. After section number three, you are going to find um, the midterm exams. What are those? Those are the exams that announce that you are in the middle of the module. You can complete them as well. And for sure, they are, they are going to look a little bit different. You're going to see, you don't have 11 sections, but you have six exams. This is the midterm, right? After section three, you have the midterm evaluations. You have to complete them because they are part of your progress, right? I am going to be constantly asking you, to work in the platform. Why? Because it is very important that you complete everything before the end of this course. So 
We are going to finish this course in October 21st. If I am not mistaken, that will be your last day. By October 21st, everything should be done, okay? So October by- October 21? Yes. Okay. I think our last day will be October 21st. And uh, just let's make the mathematics together. If you have your calendar there, we have four, eight, yeah, October 21st, it will be day 16. Okay. And by October 21st, everything should be done on the platform. So whatever question that you have about it, let me know. Be careful when working in the platform because you have to be very, very um, careful with punctuation, with spelling, with the order of the sentences. You have to take care of the little details of English because if not, you can tell me, teacher, but I am answering and answering and I know the question is correct, but maybe we're using the incorrect spelling. So one letter can make the difference. One period can make the difference. So let's be very careful with those things. I am going to share my screen for the PowerPoint presentation. Let me know when you can see it. Yes? Yes. Perfect. So today we're going to work a little bit on the introduction of the topic and we're going to study two part verbs. Do you have any idea of what are those? Or what those are? And if you don't know, you can tell me, teacher, I don't know about it. Huh? No, for me, no. No. I don't know. Okay, I don't, I don't know. know really, about I don't know. It. Okay, that's good. And that's why I really like these classes. When you teach things that people do not know. That's fantastic. <laughs> that's something that I really enjoy. Before I move on, I am going to show you a couple of agreements that I have for the class. The first agreement that I have for my class is that I like my students to have a notebook, right? I need you to have a notebook for you to take notes. Okay, good. Blanquita is showing me her notebook. Can you please show me your notebook or the thing that you use for you to take notes? Everybody? I am going to stop sharing for a moment. Okay, Miguel is showing me the notebook. That's very good. Milagro is showing me the notebook. That's very nice. Mr. Marlon, fantastic. Catherine, do you have something to take notes? Aha, if not, go and get one. Don't worry. Very good, Blanquita. Oh, yeah, she read <laughs> Blanquita. Blanquita has already her notes there. That's good. Let's see the, the other ones. And Ayansi, what do you have for you to take notes? Ok, si no lo tienen por ahí, les doy un minutito para que vayan, corran y lo traigan. Hijo, dame el cuaderno. <laughs> Rosa María, what do you have for you to take notes? That's cool, fantastic. Mr. Julio. And I, hey, that's pretty awesome. Very good. Even a page. Today, one page. I am going to say, okay, right? But tomorrow I need you to have a notebook, right? You're going to say, Ay, es que como que estoy en escuela. You are. <laughs> you are in the school. <laughs> yeah, this is another, this is another part, like the university, right? Es que todo lo recuerdo. Mm -hmm. You say, mm -hmm. we have so many things to do during the day that we need to have something for us to take note. Good. So for all the rest, I need you please to get that for tomorrow. If you don't have one today, please get one for tomorrow. We're going to have here revision de cuaderno every night. <laughs> okay. Good. So a couple of agreements for the class. Practice your English as much as possible. Remember that we don't live in an English speaking country. During the day, we don't have a lot of opportunities to speak English with people, right? Or do you go around the life speaking in English? ¿Se la pasan todo el día hablando inglés? Yes or no? No, really no. No. 
Never. but uh -huh. the next month I needed to talk. For sure, you need to talk a lot, yes. right? You need to talk a lot. So let's take the best advantage of English in the class. Participate as much as possible. Because in the life, we don't have the opportunity, right? We don't go in the coaster and say like, oh, hi, good morning. Here you have my quarter. Have a beautiful day, mister. No, we don't do that, right? We don't go with the pupusas lady and say like, Niña Mari, I would like $3 of pupusas, please. No. Because Niña Mari is going to say, ah, ¿qué? <laughs> or we never know. Maybe Niña Mari is in English Corporativo and she's going to say, how many pupusas do you want? And that would be amazing because you have the chance to practice, right? Ask for help whenever you need. Ask for help anytime you need. If you don't understand something, teacher, can you repeat that? Teacher, stop. Teacher, I don't understand. And we are all going to learn at the same time. Keep your cameras on because as this uh, distance, because of the pandemic, when we see each other and we, when we interact with each other, at least on the camera, we can feel that we are connected, right? And you can actually see that your friends are practicing. And you're going to tell me, Teacher, es que hasta ahora más o menos estoy aquí cenando y tengo que ver al niño, el niño a veces se atraviesa. It's okay. It's okay. Right? That is not going to affect your development in class. It's like, teacher, es que se me sube el gato. Teacher, es que se pasa el perro. It's okay. Right? The idea is that we want to see you in the class. Attend all your sessions on time. It is important that you are here on time, right? Because remember that we have one hour to be together. Participate as much as possible. Keep a cooperative attitude during class, right? This is not going to be like the spiritism session, right? Como las sesiones de espiritismo. I am not going to be there. Eh, Regina, Mauricio, Milagro, Miguel, Julio, are you there? Rosa Maria, Rosa Maria at one, two, three. No, oh, right? I know. I know. Yeah, I was I was using you as an example. <laughs> so eh, participate as much as possible, okay? Así no los estoy llamando como que estamos jugando aquí algún Objeto de espiritismo. Nati, Nati, está ahí. <laughs> yes. Keep a cooperative attitude during class. Collaborate with your friends in the WhatsApp group. If a friend asks for help in the WhatsApp group, answer people. Answer. It's like, I need help with this. What is the meaning of this? And you're like, no, help. Help your friends and answer your friends as well. What happens in the group? People send messages in the group and no one answers, not even to say thank you or, or anything. So, si de repente nos envían algún mensaje de parte de inglés corporativo o algo, thank you very much, thank you, entendido, muchas gracias. So it is very polite when you answer, right? Cuando sus compañeros hagan preguntas, cuando tengan dudas, Tratemos de contestar, okay? So that's a matter of, of being polite. So those are the agreements of the class. Estamos de acuerdo con los, con los reglamentos de la clase. Quisieran agregar algo más? ¿Les parecen yeah, así como están? Very sí, good. Yo, uh, I'm sorry. Yeah. No, I was going to say that in my case, I am in the darkness. So like ah, I because, said, I have yeah, no... I know you don't have electricity. For sure, we understand. Yeah, <laughs> we yeah, understand. If I, it, yeah, if I turn on my camera, uh, let's see <laughs> what you can see. Yeah, we're going to see your teeth and your eyes only. Yeah, oh. I don't know if you can see it. I can, I can see your teeth only. Green. Mike, similar to Michael Jackson. <laughs> <laughs> when I was young. <laughs> when he was young. Thank you. We understand, Ismael. And if you turn on the camera, maybe you are going to run out of battery. So you use it. Use it for, uh, for you to listen to the class, okay? So a couple of things. What did you study in the previous module? Do you remember a little bit of the previous module? 
It was one week ago, okay? You have to remember. Teacher. Yes? Uh, I am, I am here, I am here uh, problem. Oh, don't worry, Anna Jansi, but if you can listen to me in, uh, you can be in the class, stay here, okay? Okay, teacher. Okay, try, try to listen and participate as much as you can. Okay, uh, let me see. Milagro, what did you study in the previous module? What do you remember? The microphone, sweetie. Hi. Uh, well, uh, this is my first time here. Oh, uh, it's your first time. Oh, okay. Yes. So I am your first module. Don't worry. <laughs> Let's see. Mr. Marlon, were you in the previous module? Yes. Yeah, that is my first time. Oh, it's your first. Oh, my God. I have a lot of first times here. Rosa Maria? Uh, repeat me, please. Are you? Is this your first time in English Corporativo, or you were studying before? Before. Uh -huh. What do you remember from the previous classes? ¿Qué recuerdan de las clases del módulo pasado? Uh, the pronouns. Uh -huh. The pronouns. The most the pronouns. Uh -huh. uh, so. Algunos verbos. Uh -huh. Some uh, verbs, good. That's very uh, good. Los nervios, no me acuerdo. <laughs> it's okay, it's okay. <laughs> so, it is good. So, today we're going to start a new, this is a new stage, don't worry. We're going to start a, start a new chapter. So, today we're going to start with a topic that it's very, very controversial. Complaints. Complaints. Do you know what is the meaning of complain? Any idea? What is the meaning of complain? No idea of what a complaint is? No idea. Imagine going back in time when you were teenagers a couple of years ago. Vamos a regresar cuando Days, yeah. days ago. Days ago, right? When we were teenagers, cuando éramos yeah. adolescentes. ¿Qué hace como dos años de eso? What was the most common complaint? You are always on the computer. You never the, do anything at home. You are always on the phone. Call the phone. Your parents, right? You never clean. You never they, help. And when receive the... The I, grades. I know, yes. A custom? <laughs> it is a... Fight. You said like, aha, uh -huh, you never study. You never do anything in that. You are always this on the street. This is the evidence. You are always on the street. That's a complaint. Complaints are quejas, right? The most common complaints of parents with teenagers. I have one question. What was the most common complaint from your parents when you were teenagers? the most common complaint of your parents for you. ¿Cuál era la queja más común que tenían sus papás para con ustedes? In my case, teacher, my mother always, always say me, I forgot the glasses in every word in the house, always. <laughs> so you used to One wear day. glasses? No, I'm sorry, um, vaso? Ah, the, the glasses, ah, yeah, I know. Like, Glass. <laughs> yeah, the Always yeah. uh, take the glass and the, um, forget in the bathroom, for example. <laughs> that was the most common complaint. <laughs> yeah. So your house was full of glasses. Good. Thank you. Thank you, Blanca. Let's see. Who else? Who wants to share? What was the most common complaint of your parents uh, with you? Me? Yeah, go ahead, Mr. Julio. In, in my case, uh... My mother uh, was told me uh, I am I, I play soccer too long time. Oh, you were yeah. always playing soccer. 
Yeah. Ooh, oh my God. So really, that was the really. most common complaint. You live on the street, you say. You are <laughs> always playing soccer. <laughs> okay. Anyone else who wants to share the most common complaint that your parents had with you? Yes. In huh? my case, yes, in my case, my mother uh, always said um, uh, about my, my mess. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that you that you always had a mess there. <laughs> okay. Yes, something. Uh, the things out of place. Okay, things were always out of place. Good, very good. Thank you, Milagro. Uh, someone else? Someone else who wants to share? No, but I, I would like to ask about uh, a thing in class. Um, well, I, I my problem is uh, listening. Okay. Yeah. Um, I can maybe uh, work in grammar well, uh, and maybe to speak uh, a little good. Okay. But but my problem is listening. Okay, so I am going to work on that situation here. I am going to have a lot of exercises for you to practice all the skills, listening, speaking, reading, and writing. Don't worry. You are going to develop the four skills in the class. So thank you, Milagros, that you let me know which are the things that you need to work on because that it's important for your improvement. Mm, yeah, for me, it's the most important. Okay, the listening, fantastic. Yeah. Good, Thanks. very good. Let me see. Another complaint. Mr. Miguel, what was the most common complaint that your parents had with you? Um, play out late. Ah, to play outside late. Yes, all the time. They say, Miguel, Miguel, where are you? And you were on the street, right? Yes. Oh, my goodness. Rosa Maria? In my case, my father say study all, all every day for 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 I am in person important I will see okay to become an important person to study every day to study every day yeah in my case the most common complaint was that I always that I was always on the street right I mean there was no pandemic right we were free we're free yeah my mother is just like, where are you? Where are you? It's like, I'm here <laughs> visiting someone, right? And we were always together with my friends. That was the most common complaint. And that my friends were always in my house. And they say like, don't they have a house? Shoo, go to your house. They are always here. So those are common complaints. Now that the situation is different, and now that most of us are parents or are planning or trying to become parents, what is the most common complaint that you have with your kids now that you are an adult? What is the most common complaint that you have with your kids now that you are the adult in church? With the, with the kids? Uh -huh. With the kids, yes, they play only play on cell phone or switch all day, all yeah. day, and no like they play outside the house. <laughs> okay. Don't like it. No, I mean they they are at home. They have everything. What? Why yes. are they going to go out? Yes, and uh, we say they need um. How would you say vitamina? Vitamin. Vitamin D, vitamin D, the sun. Go to play and they don't want. Yes. Okay, yes. Mr. Marlon, do you have kids? Yes, I had two. What is the most common complaint that you have with them? Is they say they are only playing with the cell phone. I say turn off the cell phone and they turn off the TV. <laughs> or they are the computer or the think... table. <laughs> every every day, every time, uh, it's a, a very difficult day because they don't want to play out. 
because they prefer uh, uh, use the the cell phone and the tablet. Yeah. I know, I know. Let's see, Mr. Aldo Melara, do you have kids? Yes. What is the most common complaint that you have with them? The most common complaint as I have is that I can sleep more than 10 hours. That you can sleep, right? Because they are always there. They are always making noise. And they're like, papa, 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 all this. <laughs> Excellent. Okay, Mr. Uh, Tito, do you have kids? Diomesis, what a curious name. I don't know if you can listen to me, Mr. Diomesis. Hello. Hello, do you have kids? The busy or, or of the parent of the long or own wing. Uh huh. Busy of the long. Sorry, sorry, Mister. I have an, an interference. I think someone was speaking at the same time. Hi, hi. Someone was speaking. So, Mister Tito, what is the most common problem that you have with your kids? Eh, el problema o la queja más común que tiene con sus hijos. Sí, divisi vos mi parent after no eh, o help. Ooh, I cannot get the idea. Mr. Tito, I couldn't get the idea. If you can send me the message on the chat, that would be perfect because I couldn't listen to you. Well, so as parents, we have a lot of complaints, right? The kids never pick up their things. The kids always leave a big mess on the, on the, on the living room, on the house, around everywhere. So they are always leaving the things like around. So that's a very common problem. What are the most common complaints that they have? From the parents that the kids don't help around the house. Mr. Julio, can you help me to read? Mr. Julio Cruz, can you help me to read? Maybe he cannot listen to me. Uh, Milagros, can you help me to read? The second one. Yes, yes. Oh, okay. Uh, <laughs> sometimes. <laughs> Dress badly, uh, have ugly hairstyles. The, the kids dress badly and have ugly hairstyles, right? Maybe we need to remember how we used to dress in the past, right? All the emo stages that we had. <laughs> yeah, I, I saw it, but uh, in my case, no. You didn't have it, right? <laughs> yeah. That the kids don't study enough. That the kids have strange friends. It's like, hmm, that friend that is visiting you, I don't like it. So please be careful. <laughs> it's not good for you. It's not good for you. It's so like, but I love him. Don't help out around the house and don't listen to our advice. That is the most common complaint about parents. What is the most common complaints about teenagers? Let me see. Uh, Miss Blanca, can you help me to read about the complaints of the teenagers? Okay, nag about how household shirts. Good. Don't Thanks. like my friends. Hmm. Mm. Criticize, it's okay, criticize? Criticize. Criticize my appearance. My appearance. And parents, sorry, thank you. Uh, bother me about homework. Bother, bother me about bother homework. me, bother me about homework. Always tell me me, always tell me what to do. Okay, so what is the meaning of nag? Do you know what is the meaning of nag? No, I don't remember <laughs> the meaning of nag. That they are always telling the same things, right? 
My parents always nag about the household chores. It's like, do the cleaning, do the cleaning, do the cleaning, clean your bedroom, clean your bedroom. That it's to nag. It's study. Yeah. Cleaning. It's study. <laughs> yeah. If you have a little kid, put the shoes, put on your shoes, put on your shoes, and they never do it. So tell I me. Can repeat? <laughs> yes. It's like, when you insist on something all the time, that it's a meaning of nag. So those are the things that you have to write in your notebook, nag, right? Don't like my friends. My parents don't like my friends. My parents criticize my appearance. It's like, whoosh, are you going to go like that on the street? Are you going to go like that to school? Are you going to wear that? That's the meaning of criticize, criticize. And we sometimes do it, right? But it is a checklist de papas. Ahí nos podemos ir haciendo un checklist. Uh, my parents bother me about Sorry, homework. Sorry, can you repeat me? Criticize. I, I, I Critic difficult for me. Criticize. 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 Yes. Criticize my appearance. My parents criticize my appearance. My parents bother me about homework. Bother is like, did you do the homework? Where is the homework? Show me the homework. Did you do the homework? Where is the homework? I need to see the notebook. Give me the notebook. So that it's to bother about, right? My parents bother me about homework. And for sure, my parents always tell me what to do. No, use this one. Study that, do that. Yeah. So those are the most common complaints of the teenagers for their parents. And for sure, the parents are always complaining that the kids never help, that the kids don't listen to the advice, that the kids have a strange friends, that the kids dress badly. As you can see here, they dress horribly and they don't study enough. What is the meaning of enough? Too much. Yeah. Too more. It's like sufficient, right? That it's mm -hmm. the meaning of enough. Very good job. Okay, let me see. Any other question about vocabulary that you don't know that it's here on this uh, exercise? Uh, we use nag similar to a bother. It's similar, it's similar. It's but similar. nag is, is insisting, insisting. Bothering is like, uh, in good Salvadorian, when you say molestar, fregar, it's like, mamá, que fregar con la tarea. Mamá, come on, ya, ya la hice. Uh, show me, show me the homework, show me the homework. I need to see okay. it. And you are like, eh, 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 eh. that's bother. And nag is, you are always saying the same thing, the same Clean thing. your room. Clean exactly, your room. Exactly. Like Clean that. your room. That it's to nag. Okay. Thank and you. to bother is like when you are like, Ugh, yeah, enough, enough. <laughs> That's to bother. Okay. Good. Any other question, my dear students? The rest is clean, clear. What like, is the meaning of of criticize my uh, my I, uh, my appearance? Criticize, criticize my appearance. Um, imagine that. Um. I am your mother, and I say, Aldo, Aldo, are you going to go out with those jeans? It's like, what? What's happening? Solo tienen unos hoyitos. No, they don't look okay. No, go and change. Go and change. You look horrible. He's like, hey, Natalie, are you going to go like that to the university? Like, what's happening? I love my hair like this, the almohada style. I love it. That's to criticize when you're like, eh, no, hmm, that looks horrible, right? That's to criticize. Imagine that these ones are your kid and your and your daughter and your son. Si fueran sus hijos, esos dos que están aquí en la foto, would you allow them to go like that to the street? No, I like it. I, I don't like it. <laughs> you don't like it, right? That's to criticize. It'd be like, Ch -ch -ch -ch. no, 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 no. That skirt, hmm, no, that looks horrible. No. It's like, hey, 
Now what's happening? I like it, it's my style. Let me be, right? When we are teenagers, we do everything, right? If not, remember the military pants around the 2001 and two, por allá por el 2001, 2002, estaban de moda los pantalones comando, los militares. Mm. Y más de alguno de nosotros tuvo uno. I had one. In yes. my mother, in my in mother, the bucle. in the book, in, in the my book, in the hair. I don't know what it's saying in in English, but the hair yeah. is a big bucle. <laughs> and your mother used to say, "Are you going to go like that?" To yes, it's yes. it's in. It's fashionable. Hmm? That's to criticize, right? Criticize. Appearance is the way you look. That's your appearance, right? That's the meaning of appearance. A look. Uh, did I answer your question, Mr. Aldo? No, thank you. Uh, no, I didn't answer your question. Uh, Let... Yes, <laughs> I, I, well, I understand, thank you. Uh, okay, very good, excellent. So if I say, did I answer your question? It's like, le contesté su pregunta? And you say, yes or no, that's very good. So those are the most common complaints about parents and about teenagers. So, but what are the things that we need to focus on this type of sentences? And I am going to go here to the next slide. Okay, I am going to go here. Okay. I have a very common example of a family in El Salvador or in any country. And I would like two people to read the conversation. You can raise your hand on the platform and I can count you as a volunteer. Um, or you can tell me, me teacher, I want to help you. Parale. Okay, yes, Mauricio Trujillo has his hand up and Rosa Maria, help me. Okay, okay. Mauricio and Rosa Maria, go ahead. Okay, good, good night teacher. I'm I am Mr. Phil, right? Yes, you are Mr. Phil and Rosa Maria is Jason. Okay. Okay. Jason, Jason, turn down the TV, please. Oh, but this is my favorite program. I know, but it's very low. Okay. I'll turn it down. That's better, thanks. Lisa, please pick up your things. They uh, they're all over the floor. I am in you, mom. I'm on the phone. All right, but do it as soon as you hang up. Okay, no problem. Goodness, where we like this when we were kids. Definitely. Definitely. Thank you. Reactions for your friends, please. Very good job. Very good job. Very good job. Okay. There in the platform, you have the section for reactions. So you can send a reaction to your friend. What is the situation here? Who can tell me what is the situation in the conversation? The father tells the son he needs to turn down the tv Aha, he needs to turn down the tv and what else happened what else can you see in the conversation it's the noise Aha, it's a lot of noise right there's a lot of noise what else yeah, it's um, the problem with the Two kids and right. Jason uh -huh. and Lisa. Okay, Jason and Lisa are very problematic. He said that yeah. he, they are calling, they are talking on the phone. So what yeah. is the problem? The parents are complaining about the things that their kids are doing. But what happens at the end? Were we like this when we were kids? And she says, definitely. <laughs> they are living the same story again, right? What is the problem with Jason? Do you see that Jason, is he an active kid? Is Jason- No, it's adult. 
is Jason a very active kid? Is he yes. active? Passive kid. Passive, passive kid. kid. And no. we might call him, there is an adjective for that. It's like, ah. relaxing, I don't know. Similar. When you don't like to do anything, when you Lay. like to be on the sofa. Lay down. Couch potato. A couch potato, but there's an adjective for that. Lazy. Lazy, very good job, right? Lazy, it's like, I, in a minute, in a minute, I like, wait, right? That it's lazy when they have to ask you to do the things more than once, because ah, you say later, not right now, right? What is the problem with Lisa? Lisa is the girl. Always on the phone. She's always on the talking phone. Talking and talking right? and talking. She's talking. And now the thing, the things have changed and you are not like this. You are always like this. What are the teenagers doing on WhatsApp, on TikTok, texting, on Instagram? Texting. They are always texting. And if you say like, and if you send a message to them, they never answer. And if you call them, they never answer. And they always have the phone in their hands and they never answer. That's very. But true. you testing the WhatsApp? Mm. Imagine if you open the phone. Mm, always on the phone, mom. Always. And it's like, well, I was checking the time. You say, <laughs> no. We as parents are always on the phone sometimes. So that can be just an example, right? So in the conversation we have here, it's so like, Jason, Jason, turn down the TV, please. Turn down the TV, please. What will be the meaning of this one? Here we have the first two part verb, as you can see here. Turn down the TV, please. La va a agarrar y la va a poner abajo? No, right? No. What is he going to do? Bajar. Turn down the TV, please. The volume, the volume. right? Oh, yeah. But this is my favorite program, he says. Like when you are watching, what? Domingo para todo, right? <laughs> it's your favorite program so, but it's very loud it's like it has too much volume ah i will turn it down it says i will turn it down that's another two-part verb right the one that we have here that's better thanks lisa please pick up your things look at here say a shirt the bag the books everything Lisa has everything around. Pick up your things. What is the meaning of this? Pick up mm, your things. Up. What will be the meaning of that? Okay, okay. Pick up your things. Take, take the things from the floor. When you take the things from the floor. What, how do you call that in Spanish? Mm, levantar. levantar. Recoger. Recoger or levantar. Very good. They are all over the floor, right? In a minute, she says. In a minute. En un ratito. I am on the phone. No my God. <laughs> yeah, I am on the phone. I mean, my mother would say, you are going to pick the things with the hands, not with the phone. <laughs> you have to do it. It's like, all right, but do it as soon as you hang up. Hang up is book when you finish the call. Okay, no problem, she says. Goodness, goodness. This is an expression when you are so surprised of something. Say, goodness. It's like, Santo Cielo, por Dios. Híjole, right? Goodness. Were we like this when we were kids? And she says, for sure, definitely. Like, see, ¿sí? en definitivo, así éramos los dos. Definitely. And maybe if we look back, we were exactly like that, right? My mother now says, you see, now you are paying everything <laughs> with my kid. And it happens, right? So everybody, go along with me. Open the microphones and we're going to go in the conversation. Jason, Jason, turn down the TV, please. 
Ay, no, creo que Jason no nos va a hacer caso. Si sí, solo cuatro le dije. Somos diez. Again. One, two, three. Jason, Jason, turn down the TV, please. Jason, Jason, turn down the TV, please. TV, please, please. Ah, but this is my favorite program. Oh, oh but this is my favorite program. I know, but it's very loud. I know, I know but, it's, but it's very loud. 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 Okay, I will turn it down. Okay, okay. I'll, I'll, I'll turn it down. 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 That's better. Thanks. That's better. That's better. Thanks. 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 Don't say thanks, okay? Thanks, no. Cada vez que decimos thank, no. Te muero un diccionario. That's better. Thanks. Lisa, please pick up your things. Lisa, they are all over the floor. They are all over the floor. In a minute, ma'am, I am on the phone. In a minute, ma'am, I am on the phone. All right, but do it as soon as you hang up. Okay, no problem. Okay, okay. No, problem. okay no, problem. no problem. Goodness. 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 Okay, no problem. Were we like this when we were kids? Were we like this? Definitely. 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 Okay, very good job. Excellent job. You did a fantastic job repeating. You see, English is like 70% of expression and feeling and 30% of the rest of pronunciation. Because you're going to say, Jason, Jason, turn down the TV, please. Oh, but it's my favorite program. I know, but it's very loud. Okay, I will turn down. That's better. Thanks. So you cannot do it because if not, as English is very... Um, expressive you need to put the correct stress on the sentences for you to be understood okay imagine if you just go like this and you say uh jason jason turn down the tv please ¿Cree que le va a hacer caso, jason? no right it's going to be like mm, yeah, uh -huh. yeah whatever no right they're not going to do it turn down the tv please right you have to put the correct intonation now, let's go over the two-part verbs that I was mentioning here in the conversation. Here, and I have a little bit of a tripachuca here all over. Let me erase it. Two-part verbs, right? And we have some uh, how to respond to requests. What are two-part verbs? They are words that go together and they form a new verb. So here we have a couple of examples. When you say, turn down, pick up, right, and uh, put out, that, that is another one. If you say, for example, in this case, turn down the TV, right, or turn the TV down, pick up your things or pick your things up, right? You can replace the case of the TV with a pronoun and you say it, if you are pointing at something, turn it down, right? Pero si está señalando tú a la tele. Say, turn it down, because you know what you are talking about. Pick them up, right? Recogelos, because you know what you are talking about. And if you want to be a little bit more polite, you say, please, turn down the music. Pick up your clothes, please, right? You can be a little bit more polite. Instead of saying, turn down the TV, it is different if you say, turn down the TV, please. Right? Yo sé que como papás lo van a decir tres veces. Las primeras dos van a llevar el please. La tercera quizá ya no. <laughs> right? You say, turn down the TV. Yes. Please. Correct. We see. Please turn down the music. That's the first one, right? In the first one, you might say like, honey, baby, my love, turn down the music. But then the third one, will be like, I told you to turn down the music. Yeah, that's a Salvadorian house. 
Yeah, definitely. Pick up your clothes or pick your clothes up. It can be like that. If you use a two-part verb with a third person, you have to add the S to the verb, right? And remember that you can use it at the end or in the middle, right? He puts the garbage out or he puts out the garbage. It's not going to change in the meaning. But you might be asking, yeah, but teacher, but what are the examples of the different two-part verbs? I don't really know more two-part verbs. I have a couple of examples for all of you. And in here, I am going to show you a couple that we are going to use for tomorrow's class, right? Here we have a couple of more examples. And if you can uh, screenshot them, that will be perfect, right? I have clean up, clean off, put away, put out, pick up, hang up, let out, turn down, turn on, turn off, turn up, take off, take out and throw out. Those are some other examples of two part verbs that uh, you can use, right? What is something that you can clean up? Clean up what? What is something that we can clean up? The room. Clean up the, the room. Uh -huh. the, the car. The car, the, the kitchen, the, the table, the kitchen, the house. Excellent. The window. The windows, right? What is something that you can put away? The clothes. Toy. The clothes, right? The shoes. shoes. The, the shoes. control of the TV. The control of the TV, right? Very good. What is something that you can hang up? The Cell most phone. common one. Okay, the cell the phone key, the towel. <laughs> yes, that's the example that I wanted. The towel. After you shower, hang up the and towel. towel. Yes. Right. Turn off. Cell phone. The cell phone, right? TV. The TV. TV. Radio. The radio. The phone. Good. Throw out. Laptop. Garbage. Garbage. <laughs> the garbage, right? You can throw out the garbage. Well, so my dear students, I need you to focus on these ones because we're going to study this tomorrow in the class. So now we had the introduction of the two part verbs and we are going to continue focusing on this for tomorrow. So if you can screenshot uh, this one, we're going to use it for tomorrow's class. If not, I am going to send you a picture as well on the WhatsApp group for you to keep them there and for us to continue practicing them for tomorrow. Okay, you see, time flies when you are having fun. And that's it, ah, I showed a picture for all of you. Hey, you didn't smile. <laughs> I am going to send you the image for the WhatsApp group and we're going to use them in tomorrow's class, okay? Keep them there and for sure, I am going to see you tomorrow for another session on which we are going to continue working on this topic, okay? Mañana seguimos trabajando en este tema, así que it has been a pleasure to be with you today and I am going to see you tomorrow for the next class. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Bye. 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 Bye.